Thank you and good morning, everyone. I want to thank United in Compassion for the opportunity to officially open the UIC Australian Medical Cannabis Symposium here in Melbourne. Like United in Compassion, the Victorian government has been at the forefront of driving the change in attitudes as well as access to medicinal cannabis in Australia. The Andrews government is committed to providing access to medicinal cannabis to those in need. In 2016, we introduced the first access to medicinal cannabis legislation in Australia. And I'm delighted that the Commonwealth government has also opened up access pathways at the Commonwealth level and reduced the import restrictions, making imported medicinal cannabis more available to more Australians. Victoria continues to remain at the forefront of the push to provide medicinal cannabis to patients in need in Australia. And earlier this month, you may have seen media footage of the first medicinal cannabis crop being grown right here in Victoria. We are the only state in Australia that is undertaking the very groundbreaking work to formulate and manufacture medicinal cannabis products for children with intractable epilepsy. Victoria holds the only manufacturing permit issued to date, which means that we'll be the first to produce a locally grown, legal, safe, high quality product with consistent dosing and known composition. Being the first mover means that Victorian patients will benefit sooner, but it also means we've had to find the practical and regulatory pathways through every issue against a backdrop of fast developing regulation, science and clinical practice. And as challenging as this has been, the good news is that we're learning a great deal that will benefit everyone here as the medicinal cannabis industry matures in coming months and years. While we develop our Victorian product, I know that for many patients, access can't come soon enough. And for some very ill children, every day without access to these products is a day too long. That's why in March this year, our government fast-tracked access to imported product for 29 very ill Victorian children who simply couldn't wait for the development of a Victorian product. And we're determined to ensure our product is of the highest quality and safety. We're in the process of rigorous formulation, testing and quality control to ensure that the product that we provide for Victorian children is safe and of a reliable quality and known composition a product that doctors can prescribe to their patients with confidence and a product that parents can provide to their children with confidence, knowing the exact composition and the correct dosage for their child. Looking at the agenda over the next three days, it's really encouraging to see a strong focus on the evidence base from around the world. The Victorian government established an independent medical advisory committee to ensure that we are constantly reviewing new research and evidence as it emerges and receiving expert advice on expanding patient access based on the evidence over time. Events like this one are a fantastic opportunity for the public, patient advocacy groups, clinicians and researchers from around Australia and the world to share vital knowledge and experience. So I want to thank you all so very much for your time this morning. I hope you enjoy your stay in our beautiful city and that you leave this important symposium feeling optimistic and inspired about the future when it comes to medicinal cannabis, because I believe it's a very bright one.